Glory be to God. Welcome to D. Weaver Art here on YouTube. I give glory and praise to God that you choose to watch this channel. Today I'd like to share with you a video done from Florence, Alabama at the annual Arts Alive Arts Festival. Here in this video I got an opportunity to interview some of the various artists that were there in attendance. Now if you're new to the D. Weaver Art Channel, I urge you to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. By doing so, you will receive instant alerts on new content and material. Now with that being said, please watch and enjoy this video. Just want to share with you guys it's uh, Saturday May the 21st 2022 I'm at the uh, Arts Alive Festival and Arts out in uh, most actually Florence Alabama and um, I get it right pretty soon I guess but uh, <laughs> anyway it's a wonderful day and um, just want you to see some of the views of what I'm looking at you see a lot of people out and about just looking at some art and buying some arts from various different artists across the region. Places like Georgia, Mississippi, Florida, of course Alabama and Tennessee. Just different areas and some probably further than that. But they're out here uh, today and I just wanted to just share with you guys uh, the show's Artist Guild Artist Booth that I'm a part of. That's our uh, art booth right there. I'm Tom Young from Huntsville, recently moved down from Michigan, retired newspaper guy. But I've always dabbled a little bit in art, and so I've been painting, and I've been carving, and have, have a lot of fun doing this in my retirement. Uh, I've been a woodworker also, so a few of our things are more woodwork than carbon. And, uh, having a lot of fun. Just finished this up the other day. In a box. There's one in, in western red cedar. It smells nice. And what else do you need to know, Dean? Well, how many times have you been? To Arts Alive. This is our first time. All right, look at here. We have a first time. <laughs> All right, good, good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hope you sell. Okay. And well, we'll, we'll be partner in crime next. here. We'll be back again next year. Yep. All right. We've done well so far today. Yep. All right. Well, what do you say about the experience so far? I, I think you possibly been to another arts festival before, but what makes this art festival more unique? This is bigger than the other one we've seen, so, uh, and I think the, looking around, the quality is a little higher here. Awesome. So it's really nice to try to get into the big time here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, we appreciate you. You bet. Hello, my name is Kenneth Smith. I'm a business owner of A Different Window, uh, where I take old vintage wood frame windows and put stained glass in them, uh, and also solid wood picture frames. They can be hung inside or outside. Uh, some of them have a biblical meaning, which is the abstract pieces. Uh, it represents the coat of many colors. 
where if you haul it up in the sun, it gives you a visualization of what, what the coat of many colors really look like. I do birds, trees, team logo, uh, 3D art, and special order. Um, basically, um, they can be hung like indoors or outdoors. And so, that's just a sneak peek of what I do. In some frames, I build and take and build to perfection to go over the transom windows. Uh, also, I do a lot of Florida League. Uh, and other stuff, just whatever other customer desires. Hi, my name is Kerrigan Casey. I'm from Florence, Alabama, 26 years old, and this is my work. Um, when I started creating artwork, it was really just because I had a passion for creating. I had something, a uh, desire inside of me that really inspired me to continue to create. But what I wanted to really focus on was black art. So my art, art is intentionally black. Um, someone told me one time that I could kind of put it out there, urban Afro expressionism. So that's what I call it. A lot of this artwork is not necessarily always people that I know. but yesterday someone asked me about the inspiration behind it and I'm just like pure frustration so I'm thinking that may be the name of it. <laughs> For this one, it took me uh, about a month and some change to complete. It was the first time that I allowed myself to take my time to create something and not just try to hurry and finish it in one sitting. Uh, I had just got my apartment, so that was, this is like, the inspiration is me. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, letting it out. I did this one for, um, I was doing a live painting at a pop-up event, so it took about an hour and 30 minutes to complete. And it was October, so I did it for Breast Cancer Awareness. I try to put a lot of self-awareness in just all of my art, honestly. <laughs> so is this your first time being at the Lawrence Art uh, Live? Yes, all yes. Right. First time hearing about it and all. <laughs> okay. And you're located in where? Birmingham. Birmingham, Alabama. Yes. Okay. Have you been to any other festivals in the state or maybe outside the state? No, this is absolutely my first festival. All right. Well, I hope that it will not be your last. Same. <laughs> so I have a website. It's kbsart.co.
Hi, I'm Warren Rossi. I'm from Northeast Mississippi, Corinth, Mississippi. We're just over the line from Florence. Uh, I like to do a heavy impasto style. Uh, my scenes are more southern scenes, coastal, uh, floral uh, that are familiar with the south. I like to apply acrylics with palette knife and brush and detail work. And we've been coming to Florence for about six years. I grew up uh, just self-teaching myself, taking art in school, and then just practicing my trade. And we've had a great time meeting new friends and people everywhere that we go. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something good out of it. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at the letter D Weaver Art. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you next time.